Captain David Mercer, a seasoned officer of the United Earth Space Fleet, sat in the command chair of the UESF Endeavor, gazing out at the stars. The mission had been routine until they received a priority message from the Galactic Council's Historical Research Division. Captain Mercer, we've intercepted an urgent transmission from the Galactic Council, Lieutenant Mara said, her voice tinged with curiosity. It's marked as high priority and requests our immediate attention. David nodded. Patch it through. The holographic image of Counselor Telrin, an elder statesman known for his wisdom and deep knowledge of ancient history, appeared. His expression was one of shock and excitement. Captain Mercer, we have made a groundbreaking discovery, Telrin began. Our researchers have found references to humans in ancient scriptures from a long-forgotten civilization. We need your expertise to investigate this matter further. David leaned forward, intrigued. Ancient scriptures? How old are we talking, Counselor? These texts date back over 100,000 years, predating most known civilizations in the galaxy, Telrin explained. We need you to retrieve the scriptures and bring them to the Council for further analysis. This could change our understanding of galactic history. David's mind raced with possibilities. Understood, Counselor. We'll depart immediately. The UESF Endeavor set course for the planet Lyris, where the ancient scriptures had been discovered. The journey through hyperspace was uneventful, but the crew's anticipation grew with each passing moment. David gathered his senior officers in the briefing room. We're heading to Lyris to retrieve ancient texts that mention humans. This mission could have significant implications for our understanding of galactic history. I want everyone prepared for anything. Lieutenant Mara, the ship's science officer, looked excited. Captain, if these scriptures are authentic, they could provide insight into the origins of human civilization and our place in the galaxy. David nodded. That's the hope, but we need to be cautious. We don't know what we'll find or what challenges we'll face. As the Endeavor approached Lyris, the crew prepared for the mission ahead. The planet's surface was covered in dense forests and ancient ruins, remnants of a once great civilization. Captain, we're entering Lyris's atmosphere, the helmsman reported, scanning for a suitable landing site. David watched the viewscreen as the ship descended through the clouds, revealing the lush landscape below. Set us down near the largest ruin. That's likely where we'll find the scriptures. The endeavor touched down smoothly, and David led a team of officers and scientists to the surface. The air was thick with humidity, and the sounds of alien wildlife echoed through the trees. Stay alert, David cautioned. We don't know what kind of dangers might be lurking in these ruins. The team made their way through the dense forest, guided by scans indicating the location of the ancient temple where the scriptures were believed to be stored. The temple was a towering structure, its stone walls covered in intricate carvings and overgrown with vegetation. Captain, the entrance is up ahead, Mara said pointing to a large stone door partially obscured by vines. David approached the door, examining the carvings. These symbols look like a form of ancient script. Mara, can you decipher them? Mara studied the carvings closely. It appears to be a warning, Captain. Something about protecting the knowledge within from those unworthy. David nodded. Let's proceed with caution. We don't want to trigger any traps. The team carefully pushed open the heavy door revealing a dimly lit interior. The air inside was cool and musty, and the walls were lined with shelves filled with ancient scrolls and tablets. Spread out and search for anything that mentions humans, David instructed. We need to find those scriptures. The team fanned out, carefully examining the shelves. Mara called out after a few minutes. Captain, I think I found something. David hurried over to her. She held an ancient scroll the delicate parchment covered in unfamiliar symbols. This scroll mentions a race of beings called the Ancient Ones, who bear a striking resemblance to humans. David's heart raced. This could be it. Let's get this back to the ship for analysis. As they secured the scroll and prepared to leave, a low rumble echoed through the temple. The ground shook, and dust fell from the ceiling. Captain, we need to get out of here, one of the officers shouted. David nodded. Move everyone, back to the ship. The team sprinted through the temple, narrowly avoiding falling debris. They burst out into the daylight and raced back to the Endeavor, just as the temple began to collapse behind them. Back on the Endeavor, David and Mara examined the ancient scroll in the ship's lab. The symbols were unlike any they had seen before, but the references to humans were clear. Captain, this scroll is incredible, 
Mara said, her eyes wide with excitement. It suggests that humans were known to this ancient civilization and were considered a significant part of their history. David nodded, deep in thought. We need to get this to the Galactic Council. This discovery could have far-reaching implications. As they prepared to depart, the ship's sensors detected multiple contacts approaching at high speed. Captain, we have incoming ships on an intercept course, the helmsman reported. David's eyes narrowed. Identify them. The screen flickered to show a fleet of sleek, menacing ships. They're Draken, Mara said, her voice tense. They must have been monitoring us. Red alert, David ordered. All hands to battle stations. We need to protect this scroll at all costs. The Endeavor's weapon systems powered up, and the ship's shields were raised. The Draken ships closed in, opening fire with deadly precision. Evasive maneuvers, David shouted. Return fire. The Endeavor engaged the Draken ships in a fierce battle, the void of space filled with the exchange of laser fire and explosions. Despite being outnumbered, the crew fought valiantly, using their skill and teamwork to hold their own. Captain, we can't keep this up forever, Mara said, her voice strained. We need to find a way to escape. David nodded. Prepare for a jump to hyperspace. Set a course for the Galactic Council's headquarters. As the ship's engines powered up, a Draken ship scored a direct hit on the Endeavor's hull, causing a massive explosion. Damage report, David shouted. We've lost the port thrusters, the engineer replied. We can't make the jump. David's mind raced as he assessed their options. Prepare the escape pods. We'll have to abandon ship and send the scroll to the council separately. The crew quickly launched the escape pods, each carrying vital information about their discovery. David and Mara boarded the last pod, clutching the precious scroll. As the Endeavor was overwhelmed by the Draken ships, the escape pods launched into space, each one carrying a piece of the puzzle that could change the galaxy forever. The escape pods carrying David, Mara, and the rest of the crew landed safely on the Galactic Council's headquarters, a massive space station orbiting a serene blue planet. Counselor Telrin and other members of the Council greeted them with a mix of relief and curiosity. Captain Mercer, we're glad you made it safely, Telrin said. We received your transmissions and understand you have something of great importance. David held up the ancient scroll. Counselor, this document mentions humans in the context of an ancient civilization that predates most known galactic histories. It could redefine our understanding of human origins and our place in the galaxy. Telrin's eyes widened as he examined the scroll. This is extraordinary. We must analyze it immediately. The Council's historical research team, led by the brilliant Dr. Liera, took the scroll to their advanced laboratories. They began the meticulous process of decoding and translating the ancient symbols. Days turned into weeks as the researchers worked tirelessly. Meanwhile, David and Mara assisted the Council in investigating the implications of their discovery. Captain, the Draken attack on your ship suggests they have a vested interest in this scroll, Telrin said during a meeting. We must be vigilant and ensure its protection. David nodded. Agreed. We'll do everything in our power to keep it safe. In the lab, Dr. Liera and her team made significant progress in deciphering the scroll. The ancient symbols slowly revealed their secrets, painting a picture of a time long forgotten. Captain Mercer, you need to see this, Dr. Liera said, her voice filled with excitement. We've discovered a passage that directly references humans. David and Mara hurried to the lab where Dr. Liera showed them the translated text. The passage spoke of a race known as the Ancients, who had interacted with early humans, sharing knowledge and guiding their development. This text suggests that humans were once part of a larger galactic community, Dr. Liera explained. The Ancients considered them to be of great importance. David's mind raced with the implications. This changes everything. If humans were part of a galactic community in ancient times, we need to understand why and what happened to that civilization. As the team continued to translate the scroll, they uncovered references to a mysterious event known as the Great Collapse, which led to the fall of the ancients and the scattering of their knowledge across the galaxy. We need to find more of these ancient texts, David said. There must be more clues out there. Telrin agreed. We will organize an expedition to search for additional texts and artifacts. This discovery could unlock the secrets of our galaxy's past. The Galactic Council assembled a team of experts and explorers to search for more ancient texts. David and Mara were appointed to lead the expedition. 
given their experience and success in retrieving the first scroll. The team embarked on a journey to various planets and ruins mentioned in the translated scroll. Their first stop was the planet Zaloria, home to another ancient temple rumored to contain valuable artifacts. As the team landed on Zaloria, they were met with a hostile environment. The planet's surface was covered in jagged rocks and harsh storms. Keep your eyes open, David warned. The environment is treacherous and we don't know what we'll find inside the temple. The team navigated the rocky terrain and entered the temple. Inside, they found a series of chambers filled with ancient relics and more scrolls. Start collecting and cataloging everything, Mara instructed. We need to be thorough. As they explored deeper into the temple, they encountered a series of puzzles and traps designed to protect the knowledge within. Be careful, David cautioned. These traps were meant to keep out intruders. The team worked together to solve the puzzles, unlocking hidden chambers and discovering more scrolls and artifacts. Among the discoveries was a tablet that provided a detailed account of the Great Collapse. This tablet mentions a cataclysmic event that led to the downfall of the ancients, Mara said. It seems they were trying to protect their knowledge from something. David's eyes narrowed. We need to find out what that something was. Keep searching for clues. Back at the Council's headquarters, the newly discovered artifacts and scrolls were analyzed. The team uncovered more information about the Great Collapse, revealing a story of a powerful force that had threatened the ancients. Captain Mercer, we've translated another passage, Dr. Liera said. It speaks of a great enemy, referred to as the Harbingers, who brought destruction to the ancient civilization. David's heart raced. The Harbingers? What were they? The texts describe them as an ancient, malevolent force that sought to eradicate the ancients and their knowledge, Liera explained. The ancients attempted to hide their wisdom and protect it from falling into the wrong hands. Mara's eyes widened. Could the Harbinger still be out there? Telrin nodded grimly. It's possible. If they were powerful enough to bring down the ancients, they could pose a significant threat to the galaxy today. David clenched his fists. We need to find out more about the Harbingers and how to defend against them. Our next step should be to locate any surviving records of the ancients' encounters with them. The team's research pointed them to a distant star system where a final battle between the ancients and the Harbingers was said to have taken place. The Council approved another expedition to this system, determined to uncover the truth. The expedition team, led by David and Mara, set course for the star system known as Arendor. The journey was fraught with tension as the team prepared for whatever they might find. Captain, we're approaching Arendor, the helmsman reported. The sensors are picking up debris and energy signatures. David's eyes narrowed. Bring us in closer. We need to investigate. As the Endeavor entered the system, they saw the remnants of a massive battle. Wreckage from ancient ships floated in space, and the energy signatures suggested that powerful weapons had been used. Scan the debris for any signs of ancient technology or records, David ordered. The sensors picked up a faint signal from a nearby asteroid. Captain, we've detected a data cache embedded in that asteroid, Mara said. It could contain valuable information. The team launched a shuttle and made their way to the asteroid. Inside, they found a hidden vault containing a holographic recording from the ancients. Activate the recording, David instructed. The hologram flickered to life, revealing an ancient leader who began to speak in a long-forgotten language. Dr. Liera's translation device quickly interpreted the words. We are the last of the ancients, the leader said. The Harbingers have overrun our defenses. We have hidden our knowledge in the hopes that future generations may find it and use it to defeat this malevolent force. David's heart sank. The ancients were overwhelmed by the Harbingers. We need to learn from their mistakes and prepare for this threat. The recording continued, providing detailed information about the Harbinger's tactics and weaknesses. It also mentioned a powerful artifact, the Keystone, which was said to be capable of neutralizing the Harbinger's power. We need to find this Keystone, Mara said. It could be our best chance at stopping the Harbingers. With the information from the recording, the expedition team now had a new mission, to locate the Keystone and use it to defend the galaxy against the looming threat of the Harbingers. The journey ahead would be perilous, but David and his team were determined to uncover the truth and protect their future. Armed with the knowledge from the ancients recording, David and his team set course for the planet Valthoria, where the keystone was rumored to be hidden. 
The planet was a lush, verdant world covered in dense jungles and ancient ruins, a stark contrast to the barren landscapes they had previously explored. Captain Mercer, we're approaching Valthoria, the helmsman reported. Sensors are picking up numerous ancient structures on the surface. Take us down near the largest ruin, David ordered. That's where we're likely to find the keystone. The endeavor descended through the atmosphere, landing in a clearing surrounded by towering trees and dense foliage. The air was thick with humidity, and the sounds of alien wildlife echoed through the jungle. Stay close and keep your weapons ready, David advised his team. We don't know what dangers we might encounter. The team made their way through the jungle, guided by scans indicating the location of the largest ruin. After hours of trekking through the dense undergrowth, they reached the entrance to a massive temple, its stone walls covered in intricate carvings and vines. This must be it, Mara said, awe in her voice. The keystone should be inside. David nodded. Let's go in, but be cautious. The ancients were known for setting traps to protect their most valuable artifacts. Inside the temple, the air was cool and musty. The walls were lined with ancient symbols and carvings depicting scenes from the ancients' history. The team moved carefully, avoiding potential traps and solving puzzles designed to protect the temple's secrets. After navigating a series of chambers, they reached the inner sanctum of the temple. In the center of the room, bathed in a soft blue light, was the keystone, a crystalline structure that seemed to pulse with energy. This is it, David said, stepping forward. The keystone. As they approached the artifact, a low rumble echoed through the temple. The ground shook and the walls began to crack. We need to get out of here, David shouted. The temple is collapsing. The team quickly secured the keystone and sprinted through the temple, narrowly avoiding falling debris. They burst out into the jungle just as the temple collapsed behind them. Secure the keystone and prepare for immediate departure, David ordered. We need to get this back to the council. Back at the Galactic Council's headquarters, the team presented the keystone and the information they had gathered about the Harbingers. The council was both amazed and alarmed by the revelations. Captain Mercer, this discovery is incredible, Telrin said, but it also confirms our worst fears. The Harbingers are a real threat, and we must prepare to defend against them. David nodded. We need to study the keystone and understand how to use it against the Harbingers. It's our best chance at stopping them. The Council's top scientists and researchers began analyzing the keystone, using the information from the ancient recordings to unlock its secrets. Meanwhile, the Alliance prepared for the possibility of an imminent Harbinger attack. Captain, our long-range sensors have detected unusual energy signatures near the edge of our territory, Mara reported. It could be the Harbingers. David's expression hardened. We need to investigate, assemble a fleet, and set course for the coordinates. The Endeavor and a fleet of allied ships set out to confront the potential threat. As they approached the coordinates, they encountered a fleet of ominous black ships unlike any they had seen before. Captain, those ships matched the descriptions from the ancient recordings, Mara said. They're harbingers. David activated the fleet-wide comms. All units prepare for combat. We must defend the galaxy from this ancient threat. The battle with the harbinger fleet was fierce and brutal. The Harbinger ships were equipped with advanced technology and devastating weapons that challenged even the most seasoned pilots. Evasive maneuvers, David shouted. Return fire with everything we've got. The Endeavor's weapons blazed, targeting the Harbinger ships with precision. Despite their best efforts, the Harbinger fleet's sheer power began to take its toll on the Allied forces. Captain, we're taking heavy damage, Mara reported. Our shields won't hold much longer. David's mind raced as he searched for a solution. We need to use the keystone, it's our only hope. With the keystone activated, a powerful energy field enveloped the Endeavor. The Harbinger ships seemed to recoil from the energy, their weapons losing effectiveness. It's working, Mara exclaimed. The keystone is neutralizing their technology. David seized the opportunity. All ships, focus your fire on the Harbinger command vessel. We need to take it out. The Allied fleet concentrated their fire on the largest Harbinger ship. The combined assault, bolstered by the Keystone's energy, overwhelmed the command vessel's defenses. Target their weapon systems, David ordered. Let's finish this. The Harbinger command vessel erupted in a massive explosion, sending shockwaves through the battlefield. The remaining Harbinger ships, leaderless and disoriented, began to retreat. We did it, Mara said, her voice filled with relief. 
We've driven them back. David nodded, but his expression remained serious. This was just the first battle. We need to prepare for the possibility of more attacks. The victory was hard fought, but it brought a renewed sense of hope to the galaxy. The GDI had proven that unity and determination could overcome even the most formidable threats. As the fleet returned to the Galactic Council's headquarters, David knew that their work was far from over. The Harbingers were a threat unlike any they had faced before. But with the keystone and the strength of their alliance, they were ready to defend the galaxy against any challenge that lay ahead. With the immediate threat of the Harbingers neutralized, the Galactic Council turned its attention to fortifying the galaxy's defenses. Captain David Mercer and Lieutenant Commander Mara were appointed to lead the newly formed Galactic Defense Initiative, GDI, a coalition dedicated to protecting the galaxy from external threats. Captain Mercer, your leadership has been invaluable, Telrin said during a council meeting. We are entrusting you with the responsibility of coordinating our defenses and ensuring our preparedness for future attacks. David accepted the role with determination. Thank you, Counselor. We will do everything in our power to protect the galaxy. The GDI began fortifying key planets and star systems, constructing advanced defense platforms, and training specialized defense forces. The Keystone was studied and integrated into the defense network, providing a powerful tool against the Harbingers. We need to remain vigilant, Mara said during a strategy session. The Harbingers could strike at any time, and we must be ready. As the GDI's efforts progressed, the galaxy began to feel more secure. However, rumors of Harbinger activity continued to surface, keeping everyone on high alert. One evening, David and Mara stood on the observation deck of the Endeavor, looking out at the stars. We've come a long way, David said, his voice filled with pride. But our work is far from over. Mara nodded. There will always be challenges, but as long as we stand together, we can overcome anything. The calm was shattered one day when a massive Harbinger fleet appeared on the edge of the galaxy, heading straight for the heart of the Council's territory. The alarm was raised and the GDI mobilized all available forces to intercept the invasion. Captain Mercer, the Harbingers are back, Mara reported urgently. They're heading straight for Ardentia. David's eyes narrowed. All ships, prepare for immediate departure. We must defend the Council at all costs. The Allied fleet bolstered by the GDI's advanced defenses, engaged the Harbinger Armada in a battle of unprecedented scale. The void of space was filled with the chaos of war, as ships from both sides exchanged relentless fire. Focus on their larger vessels, David ordered. We need to break their formation. The Keystone's energy field was deployed, providing a critical advantage to the Allied forces. The Harbinger ships struggled against the powerful artifact, their technology faltering under its influence. Captain, we've identified the Harbinger flagship, Mara said. It's heavily fortified, but if we can take it out, the rest of their fleet might fall apart. David nodded. Concentrate all firepower on the flagship. This is our chance to end this. The Allied ships pressed their advantage, unleashing a barrage of firepower on the Harbinger flagship. The massive vessel withstood the assault for a time, but the combined might of the GDI proved too much. Direct hit on their power core, Mara reported. The flagship is going down. The Harbinger flagship exploded in a blinding flash of light, sending debris scattering across the battlefield. The remaining Harbinger ships, now leaderless and disorganized, began to retreat. We've done it, David said, a mix of relief and exhaustion in his voice. We've repelled the invasion. The victory was hard fought, but it brought a renewed sense of hope to the galaxy. The GDI had proven that unity and determination could overcome even the most formidable threats. As the fleet returned to the Galactic Council's headquarters, David knew that their work was far from over. The Harbingers were a threat unlike any they had faced before, but with the keystone and the strength of their alliance, they were ready to defend the galaxy against any challenge that lay ahead. In the aftermath of the Harbinger invasion, the galaxy's defense forces remained on high alert. The Galactic Council continued to strengthen their defenses, but there was a growing concern that the Harbingers might have allies or remnants hidden throughout the galaxy. One day, while overseeing reconstruction efforts on a remote outpost, David received an urgent message from Lieutenant Commander Mara. Captain Mercer, we've received a communication from an unlikely source, Mara said, her expression a mix of curiosity and caution. 
a group of Draken defectors claims to have vital information about rogue elements still loyal to the Harbingers. David frowned. Patch them through. Let's hear what they have to say. The screen flickered to reveal the face of a Draken officer, his expression solemn but determined. Captain Mercer, I am Commander Thrak. We were once part of the Draken military, but we no longer support the tyranny of our former leaders. We have information that could help prevent a resurgence of their influence. David leaned forward, intrigued. Go on, Commander Thrak. What do you know? Thrak explained that a faction of hardline Draken loyalists, unwilling to accept defeat, had gone underground. They were planning to strike at the heart of the newly formed Galactic Defense Initiative to destabilize the fragile peace. They have a hidden base on the edge of Draken space, Thrak continued. We can help you locate it and provide intelligence on their operations, but we need your protection in return. David nodded, recognizing the significance of this offer. We'll provide safe passage and protection for you and your people. In return, we need full cooperation and detailed information. With the information provided by Commander Thrak, David and his team devised a plan to infiltrate the rogue Draken base. The mission was dangerous, but it was crucial to dismantle this threat before it could destabilize the peace they had fought so hard to achieve. Captain, we've pinpointed the location of the base, Mara reported. It's heavily fortified, but we have a clear approach thanks to Thrax intel. David addressed his team, his voice filled with determination. This mission is critical. We need to move quickly and efficiently. Our goal is to disable their operations and capture their leaders. Let's move out. The Endeavor and a small strike team set course for the hidden base. They approached under the cover of darkness, using stealth technology to avoid detection. As they neared the base, David and his team prepared for the infiltration. Remember, our priority is to disable their communications and weapon systems, David reminded his team. We need to cut off their ability to coordinate and strike. The strike team landed just outside the base, moving silently through the shadows. They split into groups, each tasked with a specific objective. David led the main team toward the control center, while Mara's group targeted the communications hub. As they infiltrated the base, they encountered pockets of resistance. The rogue Draken soldiers fought fiercely, but the element of surprise was on the Alliance's side. David's team advanced steadily, overcoming each obstacle with precision and teamwork. In the control center, David and his team encountered the rogue leaders. A tense standoff ensued, with blasters drawn and the air thick with anticipation. You're surrounded, David declared. Surrender now, and we can end this peacefully. The rogue leader, a hardened Draken general, sneered. We will never bow to your weak alliance. Draken will rise again. Before he could give the order to attack, David's team sprang into action. A brief but intense firefight erupted with blaster fire lighting up the control room. David and his team fought with relentless determination, their goal within reach. Finally, the last of the Draken defenders fell, and the control room was secured. David approached the main console, quickly entering commands to disable the planetary defenses. We've done it, Mara said, her voice filled with relief. The defenses are down. David allowed himself a brief moment of triumph. Good work, everyone, but we're not done yet. We need to ensure the Draken leadership is neutralized and their forces surrender. With the planetary defenses disabled, the Alliance fleet moved in to secure the remaining enemy positions. The Draken forces, realizing the futility of their situation, began to lay down their arms. Counselor Telrin's voice came through the comms. Captain Mercer, we've received a communication from the Draken leadership. They're asking for terms of surrender. David's heart swelled with a mixture of relief and pride. Patch them through. The image of a weary Draken commander appeared on the screen his expression one of resignation. Captain Mercer, Counselor Telrin, we are prepared to surrender. We ask for mercy for our people. David's voice was firm but fair. Surrender your remaining forces and cease all hostilities. You will be treated with respect and given fair treatment under the laws of the Galactic Council. The Draken commander nodded. We accept your terms. As the Draken forces stood down and the Alliance secured control of the planet, a sense of victory and hope began to spread. The war that had ravaged the galaxy was finally coming to an end. With the Draken threat neutralized and the rogue factions within the Council rooted out, the galaxy could finally begin to heal.
the Allied forces returned to their respective homeworlds to begin the long process of rebuilding. Captain David Mercer and Lieutenant Commander Mara were at the forefront of these efforts, ensuring that the fragile peace was maintained and that trust between species continued to grow. The Galactic Council convened on Ardentia to discuss the future. Leaders from every corner of the galaxy gathered to plan for a new era of cooperation and mutual support. David was invited to speak before the assembly, his role as a key figure in securing peace well recognized. Counselors, representatives, and friends, David began, his voice resonating with a mix of humility and resolve. We have faced unimaginable challenges and overcome tremendous obstacles to reach this point. Our unity and determination have brought us victory, but our work is far from over. We must now focus on building a future where all species can thrive together. The assembly listened intently as David outlined his vision for the future. He spoke of joint exploration missions, cultural exchanges, and scientific collaborations that would strengthen the bonds between the various species. His words were met with applause and approval, the council eager to embrace this new era. As the meeting concluded, Councillor Telrin approached David with a proposal. Captain Mercer, your leadership has been instrumental in bringing us to this moment. We would like you to lead a new initiative, a Galactic Unity Task Force, to oversee the ongoing efforts to maintain peace and foster cooperation. David felt a surge of pride and responsibility. I would be honored, Counselor. Together we will ensure that the sacrifices made during the war were not in vain. The establishment of the Galactic Unity Task Force marked the beginning of a new chapter for the galaxy. David and his team, including Mara, worked tirelessly to implement the initiatives discussed at the council meeting. Their efforts led to remarkable advancements in technology, healthcare, and education across the member worlds. One of their first major projects was the construction of the Galactic Unity Station, a massive space station that would serve as a hub for diplomacy, research, and commerce. Representatives from every species contributed to its design and construction, symbolizing their commitment to a shared future. As the station neared completion, a grand inauguration ceremony was planned. Leaders from across the galaxy gathered to witness the unveiling of this monumental achievement. David, Mara, and Counselor Telrin stood together on the platform, ready to address the assembly. Today we stand united in our commitment to peace and progress, David said, his voice filled with emotion. The Galactic Unity Station is not just a symbol of our cooperation, but a beacon of hope for future generations. Together, we will explore the unknown, share our knowledge, and build a brighter future for all. The crowd erupted in applause, their excitement and optimism palpable. As the ceremony continued, David took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them here. The battles fought, the alliances forged, and the sacrifices made had all led to this moment of triumph. Later that evening, as David and Mara walked through the bustling corridors of the new station, they marveled at the diversity and harmony around them. Scientists from different worlds collaborated on groundbreaking research, diplomats discussed new trade agreements, and families enjoyed the vibrant, multicultural environment. It's incredible to see how far we've come, Mara said, her eyes shining with pride. This is the future we fought for. David nodded, his heart swelling with hope. And it's only the beginning. There will always be challenges, but as long as we stand together, we can overcome anything. As they looked out at the stars from the observation deck, David knew that their journey was far from over. The galaxy was vast and full of possibilities, and with unity and determination, they would continue to protect and nurture the peace they had achieved. Together, David and his team faced the future with unwavering resolve, ready to lead the galaxy into a new era of cooperation and prosperity. Their legacy of bravery, leadership, and unity would inspire generations to come, ensuring that the light of peace would shine brightly across the stars. With the Galactic Unity Station fully operational and the galaxy enjoying a period of peace and prosperity, it seemed as though nothing could disrupt the newfound harmony. However, beneath the surface, old rivalries and hidden agendas began to stir. One day, while reviewing reports in his office on the Unity Station, David received an encrypted message from an unknown source. The message claimed to have evidence of a conspiracy within the Galactic Council aimed at undermining the Unity Task Force's efforts. Captain Mercer, you need to see this, Mara said, entering his office with a concerned expression. The message contains detailed information about Counselor Thran, 
one of the key figures in our efforts. It suggests he's been secretly working with remnants of the Harbingers. David's eyes narrowed. If this is true, it could threaten everything we've built. We need to investigate immediately, but discreetly. We can't risk alerting Thrawn or his allies. David and Mara began their covert investigation, carefully examining the evidence provided in the message. They uncovered a network of communications and transactions linking Thrawn to known Harbinger sympathizers. The implications were staggering. Thrawn has been funneling resources to hidden Harbinger cells, Mara reported. He's been using his position to destabilize our efforts from within. David clenched his fists. We need to expose him and neutralize his network before they can act. This could be the Harbinger's attempt to regain power. David and Mara presented their findings to Counselor Telrin and a select group of trusted council members. The shock and anger were palpable. Counselor Thrawn has betrayed us all, Telrin said, his voice filled with determination. We must act swiftly to prevent any further damage. A plan was devised to confront Thrawn and dismantle his network. David and Mara led a strike team to Thrawn's headquarters on the Unity Station while other forces targeted the Harbinger cells he had been supporting. As they approached Thran's office, David's heart pounded with a mix of anticipation and resolve. They burst in, weapons drawn, catching Thran and his accomplices by surprise. Counselor Thran, you are under arrest for treason against the Galactic Council, David declared. Surrender now and we can avoid further bloodshed. Thran's face twisted with rage and desperation. You fools! You have no idea what you're doing. The Harbingers will rise again and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Before he could act, Mara stunned him with a precise shot from her blaster. Thrawn's accomplices quickly surrendered, realizing the futility of resistance. Secure them and search the premises for any additional evidence, David ordered. Meanwhile, the coordinated strikes against the Harbinger cells were successful, with the Allied forces capturing or neutralizing the key operatives. The threat posed by Thrawn's network was swiftly dismantled. Back on the Unity Station, David and Mara reported the successful operation to the Council. Thrawn and his conspirators were imprisoned, and measures were put in place to prevent any similar threats in the future. Captain Mercer, your actions have once again saved the galaxy from a grave threat, Telrin said during a meeting. Your dedication to peace and justice is an inspiration to us all. David nodded, feeling a sense of relief and pride. We've come too far to let anyone tear us apart. As long as we stand together, we can overcome any challenge. The galaxy continued to thrive under the leadership of the Galactic Unity Task Force. With the Harbinger threat finally eradicated and the Council stronger than ever, a new era of peace and cooperation dawned. David and Mara stood together on the observation deck, looking out at the stars. We've faced many trials, but we've always emerged stronger, Mara said, her voice filled with hope. David smiled and we'll continue to do so. The future is bright, and it's ours to protect. As they watched the stars glittering in the vast expanse of space, David knew that their journey was far from over. The challenges of tomorrow would undoubtedly come, but with unity, determination, and the bonds they had forged, they were ready to face whatever lay ahead.